Welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Josh Carney. The Pittsburgh Steelers threw quite a bit at the inside linebacker room this offseason, as GM Omar Khan and assistant GM Andy Weidel completely reshaped the room. Gone are Devin Bush, Miles Jack, and Robert Spillane, not to mention Marcus Allen. In are Cole Holcomb, Elandon Roberts, Tanner Muse, and now Nick Kwiatkowski. It's a new look, but is the room all that much better? Time will tell. However, ESPN's Mina Kimes certainly raised some good points on her latest podcast Monday, stating that the position of inside linebacker could be the, quote, potential pitfall for an otherwise very good unit, end quote, in Pittsburgh. It's undoubtedly a very fair criticism from Kimes, at least on paper. Really, it's spot on. The Steelers aimed to address run defense at the position after the last two seasons with struggles from Devin Bush and hit or miss play from names like Miles Jack and Joe Schobert in that department. Being a force downhill and providing physicality against the run won't be a problem for Holcomb and Roberts. That's the good news. The bad news? That duo is rather rough in coverage. So too is Muse, a former safety in college converted to linebacker, and Kwiatkowski, who gives off significant Robert Spillane vibes. Offenses are going to go right after the inside linebacker room in the passing game when given the opportunity. It will be up to Mike Tomlin and Terrell Austin to try and hide those guys in that area of the game as much as possible when on the field. With a few weeks until training camp rolls around, inside linebacker remains one of the weakest positions on the Steelers roster. Even with the addition of Kwiatkowski, depth remains a real concern for the black and gold. It could be, like Kimes points out, the downfall for the defense that looks rather strong elsewhere on paper. After an offseason featuring aggression and big swings, the inside linebacker room remains the biggest criticism for Kahn and Weidel to date. There's still work to be done there. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazora and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.